Good afternoon, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast in the United States of America. I'm T Speaker 222 with Swing Traders Anonymous. This is a crypto emergency. <clears throat> As we talked about, there's certain factors here that we've been talking about that could actually play out. And to get back to the top of the symmetrical triangle and uh, to the total crypto market cap, we've come up and it looks like we could come up to this uptrend, guys, to these uptrend lines. We're going to see what happens. But if it breaks that because we held the support, these are the well, these are the options we have. It held support, so there is a chance that we can come and make one final breakout and actually, I don't know if we're going to end up way up there, but I mean like come back up and test up here somewhere. But that's going to leave more room for pumps across crypto if we get another $14 billion push on the total crypto market cap. So we're up $2.3 trillion right now. This is very early on. But we have to discuss the state of crypto. Tether, we talked about how it broke outside of the uptrend, which means it's having a little bit of a further retrace, which is giving crypto time to be pumping. And I know not much has moved, but I do see a possibility with Wave C where we could make a move. And I've been talking about Bitcoin possibly making this push up the this all enticing, finishing this cup and handle almost to 60,000 being within four or five thousand all-time highs and then having the ultimate rug pull and if we do go up there we're gonna have a 50 percent crash imminently following that push i mean that's the final push that would be the end of wave c and you can pack the bags up because you're gonna lose 50 percent of your portfolio if you don't sell it at the top but if you're taking a ride my xrp froze when i put out the my first video this morning for some reason at 108.350 but that's the difference from when you could have bought it earlier to now still hasn't moved much but i think xrp has the potential to get up to 123 but then for the wave c if that's what we're playing out here it'd be 130 to 140 and i've not kept that a secret we've been talking about this for days i can't show you it on my other chart because it's frozen for some reason but that's the possibility of what can play out so if we use that as resist that overhead resistance if we can come above it and use it as support we can make one bounce up to a dollar 41 for that all enticing double top and then this is going to collapse so fast you are going to have a heart attack if you're in a position so the state of crypto is we could have pumps across the board they could be starting i am in a position it hasn't done dick but i'm in a position i'm in zill it was at 9064 when i bought it i'm looking for a uh, uh, initial move to 9.9 and then looking to see if it can break that 102 and if it does it could have a push up to like 11 cents but it has some layers that it has to break i'm pinning on my move if we look in the two hour if you look at v chain how it's already moved up and finished off that initial part it's ahead of zill and i'm waiting for zill to do the uh in effect the exact same thing it's a little bit bigger pattern that zill's dropped from so I think it's going to have a healthy move. It's just we have to watch Bitcoin. But Bitcoin, for what I was thinking, is doing exactly what I thought when I bought it this morning. So I was hoping for a push to 58,000. We talked about earlier how we had to push over that 56,620 and use it as support. And it looks like we're doing just that, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to look at some of my other content so you know what I'm talking about, go to my XRP Future Millionaire page or my Swing Traders Anonymous. Those are two, or I mean my uh, ISO headquarters. Those are two great spots to look for more content. And my Twitter, which is in the video description below. The only thing like I've been cautioning is with Bitcoin, we don't have to come all the way up there. We could finish off this all enticing spot right here at 57.4 and just trap everybody looking for a wave C completion. That's the caution that I'm throwing at you. This doesn't have to play out. We've already met what we need to do, but we had a sneaky double bottom here on most of these patterns, including Bitcoin. So when you start to look at this, it becomes very tricky, but it's up to you. If you have a coin that you like and you're confident, I'm not a financial advisor. So should you take my advice? Hell to the fucking no. But if what I'm saying on the charts is making sense, obviously do your due diligence and make the best possible educated and informed decisions.